Oi oi, welcome to the Willoughby Herald. It's a 1995 28x12 two bed. This one's priced at £4,444. And we are selling this one as what we call a shed. So it's sold without any warranty. So we don't do any work to it. We don't guarantee anything. Um, don't guarantee it's dry. Um, basically selling it you know, just for office space or shed space in the garden. What you do with it is up to you, uh, but none of the gas, water, electrics are tested. So we presume that basically everything's unsafe um, and just sell it as it is. So keep the price down. Um, price includes transportation within 100 miles, as it always does. Um, but as I say, no work, testing, cleaning, uh, warranty work, anything like that included on the van. We do that usually when we've got a caravan that has got um, is a bit older and we know that getting parts and things like for windows and stuff is going to be an issue or if we think appliances might be a bit older and therefore a bit more of an issue to fix. Um, that's not to say that they're not safe and working but we sell it as unsafe. It's presumed unsafe and un not working and uh, you know you'd have a look yourself uh, we obviously thoroughly recommend getting it gas safe commissioned before you use any of the gas services um, that's if you even use them at all you may just use it for storage as you can see looking around in here it's actually fairly okay got a few marks and things on the carpet bit of rust on the fire um, but this front end's got its fitted furniture still it's got some nice wooden cupboards there you've got two exterior doors one into the lounge here and one into the hallway which you'll see in a minute uh, but stepping away from the living dining area you can see our kitchen the blind there over the window is just broken won't stay up so that's why it's down there's a skylight in the kitchen here which needs looking at probably replacing um, but otherwise other than that you can see you've got an under counter fridge you do still have a gas hob and gas oven below as i say presumed unsafe and not working next to our kitchen area here we have a door to our twin bedroom which as it stands Holds two single bed mattresses there with one bed base below, but space in here for two beds. Storage above, and then you've got a little um, wardrobe hanging space there. Actually, quite clean and tidy. Bearing in mind it's not even had a clean in here. Probably better than people might think of as a, as a shed. But as I say, I've explained the, sort of the reason for, for doing that. Stepping through then to the back of the caravan is our main bedroom which again is not too bad it's all right in here you've got a double bed mattress in there and bed base you've got some storage to the side by the window and then you've got some storage in the rear corner over there just to uh, hop round and show you the back here so you do sometimes get a bit of damp in the corners doesn't look too bad there is a bit of blown a few blown markings here on the um, cupboards bottom here that's just polystyrene or something but you can see there's some blown edges there which sometimes hints at a bit of moisture but it looks okay in the corner where the corner trims are let's look on the other side the other side the edges look okay and there's no bad staining or anything in the cupboards there so um you know they're the obvious signs or places where you could get some water ingress um you've got a door there which goes into our bathroom so it acts as a jack and jill which if i go and enter the bathroom here from the bedroom you can see you've got two doors in you've got a nice uh, pink uh, pedestal there or sink um, with cupboards below and then your toilet there um, your shower's seen better days um, again skylight in there possibly needs looking at and you've got a bit of a seal gone at the top there a bit of new silicon and stuff like that in the shower um, doors a bit knackered but it works um, no staining around the bottom there, although the skirting's obviously taken a bit of moisture. Floor maybe um, a little bit soft in the corner, but not too bad. Um, that's all fairly straightforward and uh, obvious there. So stepping out of the caravan, jumping around. Outside has seen better days. Your outside lights broken. There's uh, some gaffer tape here, which I would say is covering a little bit of a hole there in the panel which could just be covered with a vent or something. Front's got some tape on the front corner trim here, as you can see. Again, presumably, um, just giving that a feel. I think there's a corner trim missing on there, so that's just covering the join there. And then there's a bit of, I think, a bit of damage there 
on there so that just needs um, covering over with something and going down the side here put a bit more tape at the back here again probably feels like a hole there in the panel so you've got a few areas there where we can probably recommend a couple of vents or something that could go over those holes there's a regulator on the back although well, again sold as untested unworking presumed unsafe and it's fully recommended you get it gas tested and checked over before using anything inside to do with the gas or electrics drop down look at the chassis Chassis's got some surface rust, but actually it's uh, not too bad. All we do with these is make sure that the wheels and legs are all operational for transport so it can safely get on the lorry and off at the other end, but that's all we do for the chassis. So this has been the Willoughby Herald. It's from 1995. It's a 28 by 12 two bed. It's priced at 4,444, all the fours. And it's been SPL Caravan Centre. Give us a shout if you need anything to do with the caravan. And yeah, hopefully speak to you soon. Cheers.